Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I'm not sure exactly what happened to the audio during this recording, but today we're going to be going over the Electrum Radiant uh, wallet. Uh, I like the portable wallet compared to the, the full setup EXE wallet, because I can just open it whenever I want. Um, and this is a wallet, so that way you don't have to rely on exchanges or anything like that. It's actually been out for quite a while, and when you first go to open it, of course you're going to get a security warning and then just leave the server on auto and give your wallet a name. Uh, just name it whatever you want. I tend to give it specific names other than just wallet, but name it whatever you want, hit next, and you can choose standard, multi-sig, or import a pre-existing wallet. Um, if you create new, then obviously you're gonna get some seed phrases. Go ahead and back up those seed phrases somewhere secure, somewhere safe, do not lose them, uh, just like any other wallet. When you do that, it's going to test you, making sure that you did save it, and then you're going to have to put in the information or repeat the seed phrase in the order which you received it. Once you have done so, uh, in the confirm seed section, uh, you can just go ahead and click next to move on. Just know that if you do lose your seed phrase, you will permanently lose your funds. Now, you'll be presented where you could set up a password uh, of your liking just make it something strong something good something unique uh, not password one two three obviously uh, if it's weak it will let you know then once we're in we can see how much space this particular portable radiant wallet actually takes up the blockchain isn't that big it's not like bitcoin where you have a lot of space taken up but we get different features on their file uh, where we can do a new wallet restore. We can go to our wallet where we can see the private keys, see the seed phrase, change the password. We can hide addresses. We can go to our preferences, go to our network settings, a whole bunch of stuff that we actually seen before. We've seen these type of wallets before uh, with a number of di other digital assets out there. So some of the same features are basic uh, Electrum wallet features that we're used to seeing. So not so much of a big deal. Uh, the only fiat currency available is USD and CoinGecko is where it reads from. But once you have your wallet set up, now you wanna go ahead and uh, basically create a new one. We could import labels if we really needed to, but let's just go ahead and create a new wallet by going to the receive tab. There is also the send tab, uh, address tab where you can manage addresses, but that receiving address is created by default once you set up your wallet. And you can see all the different addresses that the wallet has set up for you. Um, and then you can add contacts. You can see the coins within it. Just choose one of those wallets. Don't forget which wallet is what. Um, I believe you can label them to your liking. But once you have the wallet set up and configured, you copy that wallet address to uh, you know, your Hive OS or whatever your, your miner is. And then go from there and you'll be good to go. Uh, I will say that if you change the wallet name, remember where you put it. If it goes, if you move this, this Electrum application to a different device, uh, you want to back up that wallet.dat file. And you saw just a second ago that if I changed the name, it didn't prompt me for a password. But when I put the name of my wallet back in, it did prompt me for the password that we originally set up. And on the main website, you will see... Uh, you know, there's another wallet option, chainbow.io. I think some people have checked that out. I haven't personally. Um, I just like the Electrum wallet. The Chainbow looks like it's on Android and maybe other system variations. So Google Play, there is some on the App Store, Mac OS, so on and so forth. But I just like using the Electrum Radiant wallet. Uh, and I just come over here, click the link, go to releases, and there's the release right there. Um, always check to make sure you have the updated latest and greatest and good luck to you. But that's pretty much it for this video. Do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button, make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification button to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And you just have yourself a good one. Take care.